Hello, everybody. This is Patrick and Bryce with Stone Security. Today, we are going to be um, showing how, showing you how to run a re basic report within S2. Uh, without further ado, I'll, I'll turn it over to Bryce Fuller, uh, support engineer with Stone Security. Go ahead, Bryce. Thank you, Pat. So to run a report within S2, you get to that through the administration tab, which is the person with a key in front of them. And down here in the reports section, you have a couple of options. The history report shows all of the history that's going on on your S2 system. And the people reports shows all of the people that are in your system. Uh, so you'll, you'll kind of learn what each section has and, and what we can do in those. So in the history report, a basic history report is just called the access history report here. So I'll show you how to run that. So you can run a access history report on somebody by typing in their first name, their last name, a combination of both. Or if you leave those blank, you can actually choose which door you want to see somebody has gone through. So if I wanted to see who's gone through our server room door, we can actually clear that out and it's going to pull a report for everybody who's gone through our server room. But I'm going to run it on myself. So this is going to show all of the times that I've scanned a, my card to gain access through doors here at our office. Uh, for those sites who have multiple sites across different time zones, uh, the, the biggest and most crucial thing to remember is the first column that says date and time, that is going to be what date and time the controller has. So whatever the S2 controller where the website is hosted, that is the time zone uh, that's in the date and time. The node date and time, which is the second column here, that's actually going to be the local date and time for the door that they scanned and went through. So if our date and time here was different, say this was Eastern time, this would show 10.07 and the local date and time to where I scanned through in Mountain time would be 8.07. It'll show you the first and last name of who went through, the door that they went through, and whether they were given access or if they were denied access. So that's the basic access history report. Then within the people reports, a very simple, uh, easy to use report is going to be the credential audit. Um, so this will actually go through and you can see everybody who has access to your system just by seeing everybody who has an active card. So you just move active over from the available to selected and click a go. And this you can then scroll through and see everybody who has a card, what their ID is in your system, card numbers, the status of them, and the last date and time that they used them. And that's everything that's that very, I have. That's, that's very useful, Bryce. Thank you. So again, for any S2 administrators, this is all very important information um, on how to run a basic report within S2. Again, if anybody has any questions, um, we can show you how to do this. Um, support at stonesecurity.net, and we'll uh, get back to you. Thank you, guys.